ipe mana kerak yang tak mah Thank you. Hello, welcome to our studio. It's not really finished yet. I don't even have my desk yet and uh, we are supposed to have a few prints here and uh, yeah oh someone's at the door just a sec I think we got some prints let's see It's so exciting to see your own photos as prints. It's like they they come alive. It's like you take the photo of the reality, let's say, and uh, <laughs> then the photo is digital, and then you print it, and now it's in <laughs> reality again. It becomes alive. This is the first one. These are all canvas prints. Oh, hi Talua. This is one of my favorites. I have been wanting to see this one as a print. Let's see how it is. Wow. This is in Switzerland. It was a beautiful misty morning in the mountains. The other one was in uh, Faroe Islands. Oh, this one is broken. 
this one is broken. This is in uh, Swedish Lapland. It's taken from a helicopter. And, then, and this is from the same place. You can see this, this island down there. All of these prints are or will be available on my print store, which I will open pretty soon. Pretty soon. And this one is also from the same place, but it's broken. So I have uh, some color here now. <laughs> I will hang them on the walls later. And uh, yeah, I will. I'm working on a print shop and that will come up pretty soon, I think. But yeah, that's not what I'm here or what I was going to talk about today. I was um, going to try this new thing. It's a traditional Japanese style painting, painting style. And uh, yeah, we have a, what we have here is this uh, ink stone and, uh, and this stone and we grind, we add some water here and we grind this to make our ink and then we make darker color and a little lighter color and then we have these brushes. Um, yeah, the paper. <laughs> it's watercolor painting. So I'm starting by taking some water with the brush, putting it on the grindstone. stone and start grinding it with the water and I'm really experimenting here but yeah the more water you have the lighter the ink will be it takes some time to get used to this and you can spend a lot of time grinding this here I didn't spent too much time um, maybe just five minutes I did one darker and one lighter and I added some water here on the other one to make it lighter and it could have been too much water and I could have made the darker ink darker. So this is the lighter color and I will make the whole brush or most of the brush with this color. And for the darker darker color I only do the tip very tip. So now when I paint with the whole brush it makes this gradient from the darker darker color to the lighter color and that naturally creates a three-dimensional look and I really like these scenes of misty mountains and some trees so here I'm just experimenting Something like that, something like that. And 
here, here I'm just experimenting with the shapes of the brush so if I'm twisting it around what kind of different kind of textures I can get and just tapping seeing what kind of texture it makes And just trying different things what will happen if I do different things and this is one of the first times I'm really trying this um, so I'm learning as I go and just curiously try different things and how it looks Watching or listening to some interview of this Japanese artist, and he was asked to compare Western art and Eastern art. And I remember how he said that in Western Western in Western art. Um, it's more about like trying to show everything that you are like really try to show the hundred percent and just give as much information as you can and in West in Eastern art it's more about showing as less as you can but in a way that all the line everything is done intentionally everything has some kind of meaning there so the point is there but it's not overloaded with information and how it is how it's very how creating is how creating art is a very ceremonial act like you first maybe you first meditate and really connect within yourself and then just find find the flow state before you start creating and then it's like from the beginning there's something something uh, guiding you in the process so for from here in this process for example the it's like the ceremony starts when i'm creating the workspace putting the papers here and the brushes here and making my own ink and and yeah then just observing how how the colors work and yeah it's really fascinating and meditative process so I suddenly started feeling very inspired to try something like this mm, I've been taking photos and uh, doing visual arts or yeah well visual arts but mainly digital for um, 17 years or if you, something something like that <laughs> and yeah it's uh especially now when the 
AI, the artificial intelligent art is becoming more popular and uh, I mean it's very fascinating how it works um, and it's just addicting and fun to <laughs> try different kinds of things what what it can create the artificial intelligence but after playing around with that for a while I didn't really know how to use it in a way that is inspiring and actually after that I was just feeling that I want to go back to some really traditional <laughs> art and learn that rather than um, just using um, something to generate art for me. <laughs> Yeah, it's always fun to learn new things and well talking about learning it's a long it's a long topic I'm I've been writing a book about learning and creativity for a few years now mm, I usually write it when it just wants to come I don't really force myself to even find some time to write it it's more about when it just wants to come through so yeah it's an interesting topic and I'm myself I'm learning more and more about learning what it um, well learning and creativity what is creativity and and how can we learn to learn um, faster or better or or just in a more not even better or faster just more like in a how can we learn to learn more in a fun way which is enjoyable and how we can use that in all the aspects of life and uh, usually when we are enjoying the learning process then we are also learning faster mm. But yeah, in this thing, um, as in many things, I'm, I watched a few YouTube videos and then I'm, I'm, uh, I'm trying to get the idea, the simple basics, how it works. I'm making the learning process itself as a meditation. So I'm really feeling how the tools feel how they act when I um, brush or how much water it has, how it, how it works, um, what's the difference between things if I do like this or this or you know different, <laughs> just like explore, curiously explore how it works, same thing as with instruments how a guitar or piano or a flute feels when you play it, how heavy it, heavy it is, so that it, it becomes like a part of you, it becomes so familiar that it's part of you, and then it becomes more natural to, if you have a vision, what to play or what to draw or something, then you, it's more natural for you when it's something that you are doing with thing that is part of you <laughs> um, yeah maybe I will talk about that later but now I will have to go um, I have an acupuncture in 30 minutes and that's exciting I have never tried that 
until we see again.